just posted a picture on Instagram showing that it is seriously raining cats and dogs outside. So if you guys hear some thunder and lightning, that's what it is. It is seriously pouring here in Arizona, which is really exciting because, you know, Arizona's always in a drought. So whenever we get rain, it's actually really, really quite exciting. The streets are flooded. I mean, completely flooded. Um, I just got home with my best friend and we had kind of a girl's day, went to lunch and did some shopping and yeah, the streets were flooded. It was a little bit scary driving home, but I love the rain, so I'm not going to complain. Um, today I'm doing a monthly haul video. Now, a lot of the stuff I got at the beginning of the month, and I did post some pictures on Instagram, so you guys may have already seen some of this stuff, um, but some of it I know for sure I haven't posted, and I have actually just recently gotten a couple things in this haul. Um, so this is just a collective haul for the month of September. So I'm not going to go in any particular order because I have a lot of stuff to share with you guys. So I'm just going to get started and share with you what I picked up for this month. So before I get started, if my voice sounds a little bit off or raspy, I am getting over a cold, which is also why I didn't have a video up on Friday. Some of you guys had asked if I was doing okay, you were just thinking of me, and I really appreciate that. I always love when you guys send sweet comments like that. Um, I'm fine. I'm just getting over a cold, so um, I'm here now. I'm feeling better, so I'm going to jump into this haul because I'm excited to share these things with you. But like I said, this is in no particular order. I'm just going to share what I picked up for September. Um, this first item is the Evian Natural Mineral, Mineral Water Spray, and this is a facial spray. I really love using these products um, these facial sprays, especially in the winter time, because I do have a little bit drier, dehydrated skin, and this really brings back the hydration into my makeup, into my skincare, and I really, really love this stuff. I got this for five bucks. Normally, this 10.1 fluid ounces is like twenty dollars at Ulta or Sephora. I got this for five dollars from Friends Beauty. Um, if you guys are interested in checking out that website, they have all kinds of makeup there from all different brands, um, stuff that's you know, good for if you're a freelance makeup artist, good for building your freelance kit, but they do also have just, you know, stuff that you may want to have in your, you know, your makeup collection. So definitely think this is worth checking out. I will leave Friends Beauty um, link down below. So if you guys are interested, go check it out because the stuff is like really, really amazing. I love it. So I did pick up some nail polish. These are from the Sinful Colors Halloween collection. I picked up four of them. This first one is in Pumpkin Spice and it's like a orange, red, and gold um, glitter polish. It's really, really pretty. Um, it kind of reminds me a little bit more of like Christmas because I definitely think that the the color, the, the glitters in here are a little bit more red than orange. Um, but I think it's really great for, you know, fall and Christmas season. So I'm excited to use this. And then the next one that I got is Pine. Yeah, Pine Away, and it's just a really pretty um, kind of metallic green shade. I don't have a lot of green nail polishes, so I'm excited about that one. Um, I also got a Splatted Splatter Spell, and this one's just um, like orange and black glitters. And then I got, this one's probably my favorite. I've worn this so much this month. Um, this one is called Mystery Moonshine, and it's purple, green, and orange glitter. And this one is probably my favorite out of all of the ones I picked up. I did also get a couple Zoya nail polishes, so I'll share with you those. I only got two of them. This first one is in Remy. And it, this one reminds me of like a mermaid color because it has that dimension to it. It's like a green and blue just beautiful. I think this is great for fall. All of these nail polishes that I got are just perfect for the fall time. And then this second one is in Yuna, and it's a little bit deeper um, of a shade. It's not as blue. It's a little bit more like a pewter color with some like shimmer to it. Super pretty. So I did do some shopping at Sephora for a friend of mine who I'm doing a really awesome box swap with. Um, we will be doing that in October, so stay tuned for that. Um, but I did get a couple things for myself. Uh, this first thing that I got is this Toka. I believe that's how you pronounce this um, perfume brand. This is the only thing that I have from, this is like the first thing I've tried from this brand. Am I pronouncing that right, Toka? I don't know. Let You guys let me know in the comments below if I'm saying that right. But I got the, it's a travel fragrance set, and this is the, the scent of uh, Florence. And the main keynotes of this are bergamot and gardenia. So I love the smell of gardenias, so I'm really excited to try this. And it comes with a hand cream and then a, um, what is it, 0.24 fluid ounces. So it's just a really kind of small travel size um, 
fragrance, which is fine because I have so many fragrances that, you know, I'm, I'm a fragrance junkie, so I'm excited to try this. So the second thing I got at Sephora is this Philosophy Facial Wash um, Travel Size Set, and it comes with the Purity Wash, which I have tried. This is one I like to keep in my shower just to wash off my makeup while I'm taking a shower. And then the second one is the Micro Delivery Exfoliating Wash. I haven't tried this yet, so I'm thinking about testing them both out and maybe doing like a compare contrast um, video on them. So let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing that, but I'm excited to use both of them. So I did pick up a couple blushes this month. This first one is from the MAC um, Simpsons collection, and this was the only blush that kind of intrigued me from that collection, or actually the only item that really intrigued me. Um, this is in the shade Sideshow U, and it's just a really kind of coral pink blush. I already did a swatch, so I'll go ahead and show you guys. Yeah, it's really pretty. It's just a coral pink. And then I love the little imprint of Marge Simpson. I think it's so cute. Um, I'm just not a huge Simpsons fan, but I saw this blush and I was like, oh, that's beautiful. I have to have it. So that's what I picked up from the Simpsons collection. And then I did some shopping at Laura Geller. You guys know how much I love Laura Geller products, mainly blushes and like their face products. So I picked up a couple blushes from the um, monochromatic uh, cheek color blushes and these are so oh, these are so beautiful this first one's probably going to be like an all-time favorite become an all-time favorite blush of mine oh it's beautiful this is in the shade Bora Bora I don't know this is just a really really unique I don't know if you guys can see that but it's just a really unique shade so I'll try and do a swatch I don't know how to describe it it's like a light peachy pink and it has micro shimmer in it just like really fine micro shimmer to it so that it just gives your cheeks just a really beautiful beautiful glow so that bottom swatch there is the Bora Bora I do have own one other one in this and it's the Malibu which is like a bright bright pink um, and then I did pick up another one of these so yeah <laughs> I went a little bit blush crazy this month um so the second one oh my gosh is perfect for fall this is also from the monochromatic uh, line and this one is in Maui beautiful it's like a plum color a really pretty like berry plum so I'll do a swatch that bottom swatch there oh, this is perfect going to be so so perfect for fall so I did do some shopping on the Mali website I picked up two things this first thing is the perfect prep eye primer so it just comes in a cute little jar like this and then you know it has the product on the inside and there's a little stopper there the cool thing about this product is that it came with a synthetic eye brush eyeshadow brush to apply this um, so I thought that was really cool, and I have heard some really, really amazing things about this eye primer, and I don't know, I've just been using the same eyeshadow primers for so long that I wanted to try something new, and so I decided to pick this up. And then I also picked up uh, the, this is also a primer, this is the Perfect Prep Face Primer. So it comes in basically the same type of jar, just a little bit bigger and then has the stopper there and this is tinted a little bit the the primer is actually tinted a little bit pink so I love pink <laughs> um, so I'm excited to try this I've also heard equally amazing things about this stuff and I've been on a huge Mally kick lately Mally beauty kick so I cannot wait to try these products so this next product I don't think you can get anymore it is limited edition but this is the Tom Ford um, new dip quad and this was from the fall this fall 2014 collection um, it's just this quad is just gorgeous this is like the ultimate like nude quad it's just beautiful and the shadows are shimmery and very chrome looking which I think is just perfect for fall and winter I did do some swatches on my hand so hopefully you guys can see that there. They're very, very pigmented and just really, really beautiful eyeshadows. Um, I love the look of kind of a chrome, high shine eyesh eyeshadow look for fall and winter. I just think it's beautiful. So when I saw this, I knew I had to have it. It's right up my alley. I love nudes. I love really high dimensional chrome looking nudes on the eyes. 
So I am really excited about this. I have played with it a couple times. Um, let me know if you guys want to see a tutorial using this, and I will definitely get one up very, very soon. The last two things I got are Smashbox foundations. This first one is the Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. I'm in the shade 1.1. I'll open it up so you guys can see what the bottle looks like. So this is what the bottle looks like for the Studio Skin. Haven't tried it yet. I am looking forward to using it though. I've been on a really huge foundation kick lately. Um, this second one is the Smashbox Liquid Halo HD Foundation. I've heard some really amazing things about this. And then I'm in the shade 1, which is like the fairest shade, I believe. So, and that's what this one looks like. I really like this bottle. I like bottles that are like in a square um, format. I just really, you know, square bottles. I really love the look of square bottles. And then it has just a pump. So that's actually it for my September haul. Let me know what you guys picked up this month and what you guys have been enjoying and playing around with this month as far as makeup and beauty and skincare goes. Um, I'm going to move on to my quote for the day. This is actually not really a quote. It's more of an invitation or a challenge to you guys. So this says, I invite you to not only love each other more, but to love each other better. Um, I really truly do believe that it is our job to love everyone. Um, the best way to be Christ-like is to have that Christ-like love. And I really, really love this, this whole invitation to love each other better. I think sometimes, you know, we get caught up in the nitpicky things about people that we don't really like. Um, and that causes us to kind of have tension there and to not um, get close to certain people because we may not like a certain thing about them. I know I am very picky when it comes to choosing my friends. I don't seem that way, but in person, I tend to be really, really picky about who I trust and stuff. And so I find that this is going to really help me going forward to just love other people better and, um, and not just love them for them, but actually try to love them and get to know them and love them better. So I challenge you guys to do the same thing. Um, I love you guys. I hope you're having a really, really great October and going into this fall season. I hope you guys are super excited. I know I am. I can't wait for Halloween. It's one of my favorite holidays. So I'm looking forward to Halloween and Thanksgiving and then the awesome Christmas. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.